September 13, 1993. In Washington, a step in the quest for peace in the Mideast. Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin and PLO Chairman Yasser Arafat shake hands at the White House. That happens after they sign an accord in which Israel grants limited autonomy to the Palestinians. 2005. To the extent that the federal government uh, didn't fully do its job right, I take responsibility. For the first time, President George W. Bush takes responsibility for the federal government's mistakes in its response to Hurricane Katrina. He suggests the calamity raises broader questions about the government's ability to handle both natural disasters and terror attacks. 1971. In upstate New York, police and guards stormed the Attica Correctional Facility, ending a prison uprising. The four-day ordeal, including the final assault on the prison, claims a total of 43 lives. 1998. And I will be present to bar the entrance of any Negro who attempts to enroll at the University of Alabama. Former Alabama Governor George Wallace dies in the state capital, Montgomery, at the age of 79. In his later years, Wallace, who also ran for president, renounced his one-time segregationist views. And 1996. The sick and psychotic society, somebody save me. Addicted to drama, so even mama couldn't raise me. Rapper Tupac Shakur dies at a Las Vegas hospital at age 25. It happened six days after Shakur was wounded in a drive-by shooting that remains unsolved. Today in history, September 13th, Tim McGuire, the Associated Press.